Hey everyone, it's Madame Berry. How are you holding up? Does it feel like you're struggling to stay creative and productive during everything that's been going on the past couple months? Because... me too. For those possibly watching this months or years down the line, this video was edited and the voiceover portion of it was filmed during the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020. The painting footage, on the other hand, is something that I had filmed just before everything started breaking out. My patrons over on Patreon voted on this painting to be this month's speed paint. At the point of filming this voiceover, I've been sheltered in place for about a month, only leaving my house to get food. While this pandemic has been going on, it's been hard to stay focused on just about anything. Every day it feels like new guidelines coming out and the walls feel like they're shrinking closer and closer in. It feels like trying to wade through jello. Just like everything sticks to you and pulls you back. Everything is slow. And I know I'm not alone in that thought. Not a day goes by where I haven't seen at least one tweet or something along the lines of, is anyone else tired all the time despite not really doing anything? We're all struggling in one way or the other right now. And it's entirely normal that we're finding it hard to stay creative when we're processing the traumatic situation around us and literally grieving for our prior day-to-day -day routines. A global crisis notwithstanding, in each of our individual lives we may at one point face our own personal tragedies. Sometimes the best thing to do is take a step back, but in light of the fact that sometimes stepping back isn't an option for maybe those who make art their career, for instance, or that some want to hold on to the thing that brings them comfort, I want to talk about keeping your creative energy high during crisis mode. In the interest of transparency, I wouldn't say that I've been coping especially well. But here are some of the ways that I have been trying to cope. Do some studies. I don't know what this is called outside of the visual arts covers, maybe, for music? I don't know, let me know in the comments what your equivalent of a study would be if you aren't a painter or a visual artist or the like. But I've found recently that my mental capacity for original creative works is just... it's completely shot. It's gone. But one thing I have been able to muster is practice and study from reference. Whether that be a master study of another artist's techniques, or painting from a photograph, it engages the creative part of my brain without forcing me to draw on my limited emotional bandwidth to come up with something original. And it keeps me in practice and developing my skills so I don't feel guilty for lapsing. Number two, use whatever planning device you have. Okay, this one is a self-callout. My day-to-day -day structure basically falls apart when I'm not using my planner, but for the past few weeks, I've barely touched it. This happens sometimes when my mental health is particularly low. It's a pretty clear sign to me that I need to engage in some self-care. Regardless, if you went out and got a nice new planner for the new year thinking you were going to do so much stuff with it, and three months later it feels like a useless stack of dead trees, you aren't alone. But I encourage you to use that planner anyway. Write down what you want to do that day, even if it seems frivolous. Decorate your note to take a self-care bath in the same way that you decorate happy hour with friends. 
write what you did in retrospect so that you know where your time went. It's okay if those hours weren't spent productively. But time feels less messed up and more real and I'm better able to keep track of what day of the freaking week it is when I write things down and I know what I did each day. Number three, clean your space. Literally, tidy up. It's been far too long since I've taken a good hour or two to tidy my studio from top to bottom. After I set aside that time to remove clutter, clean up any of my messes, and put things back where they should be, I looked around the room that had just been in complete disarray and was now finally clean, and it was like a breath of fresh air. Having a tidy space gives you a blank slate to work from, like you can pull anything out and there will be room for it and it's primed and ready for you to create in. Removing all that visual clutter gives your mind room to breathe. You aren't distracted by the piles of random stuff around you. an accountability system. Keep your friends close, you know, distantly, given the circumstances, and ask them to check in on you every now and again. Schedule quote-unquote work party days, where you all join a group voice chat and get some work done for a few hours. This video was actually edited and partially scripted during a work chat party. And I got more done during those three hours than I had over the course of most of the rest of that week. Having friends nearby or in a call who are also focused and working helps signal your brain that that's what you should be doing too. Number five, take an actual break. And I don't mean, oops, I just stared at the ceiling for three hours by accident, I guess I should get something productive done, kind of break. That's not a real break, that's just your mind getting back to its baseline level of functionality. Like it's your brain getting off the busy signal. What I'm talking about is actually setting aside the time and planning to take an hour or two, or shit, more if you want, to do something that's actually relaxing and de-stressing for you, whether that be playing a game, or taking a bath, or binging Netflix, or hanging out with your significant other, or whatever it is. Do something that gives you a sense of normalcy. And above all, be okay with whatever it is you are making right now, however much or little that is. The myth that the best art comes from tragedy and struggle is an idea that is equal parts wrong and infuriating. The best art comes from an artist who is in a healthy headspace, a mental space that has the capacity to do work. During this global health crisis, and during other crises in your personal life, your mental bandwidth is at capacity. I've said this a couple of times to friends, but it feels like right now my brain is just constant dial-up noises. So whatever you can muster, whatever doodles, bits of song, or just thoughts for the future that you jot down, it's good enough. So how do you stay creative during times of upheaval in your life? Let me know in the comments. I've got a workbook coming out that teaches you how to stay on track when creating feels like climbing a mountain. 
It seems entirely disingenuous to sell anything right now, but if you click the link in the description, you can read the first chapter entirely for free right now. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.